Seven. Hey guys, this is John, and I'm in the Hourly Bullet Four, Arena on LeeChess.org. It is Friday, one, we're playing some bullet zero. chess online. Everything is well in the universe, and I'm playing I'm a Dirty Cheater in the first game. A frequent opponent, a very fast player. Last time we played, he berserked me in a Hyper Bullet game. Was it Hyper Bullet? I think it was Hyper Bullet. So, <laughs> hopefully he's there so we can actually get a game. I don't want to win by forfeit, but he is there, so alright. We're getting a Fianchetto system. He's playing rather slowly to start as he's spotting me some time. <laughs> this might be the most mysterious player on Lee Chess. I'm a dirty cheater. You just never know what you're going to get with them. Sometimes they play really well, and other times they just seem to throw the position away, for lack of a better term. And I don't know what they're doing here. They played one move, and now they're going to be 30 seconds down on the clock. So, yeah, let's see. We're just going to play a Terash. It looks like they decided to, like, delay Berserk me. Something like that. So I'm just going to go after this C4 pawn and try to recover it, like so. We're up a substantial amount of time already. So let's just try to play Logical Chess. We'll take this guy. Pin that queen. We go knight e5. Let's take that. We'll take this too. Okay, we'll bring this here. Let's get on the file. Uh, okay, bring this up just to control this square, and I'm going to go here, kind of defend a little bit. Ooh, I actually dropped that pawn, but I hope that's not a big deal. Let's take that. So now we're on their knight, at least. And let's go here just to stop knight e4. Now we can put them in a really nasty pin. Let's bring up our king. And actually, very difficult for them to get out of this pin. So we're going to make some headway here, and eventually just take, like so. And we can even drag the pin out a little bit. I do only have 14 seconds, but I hope that's enough. Let's do this. We're going to go after this pawn. Oh, actually, oh, I didn't see that. The fact that they could play that way. Hmm. I missed that they were actually queening before us. Oh, take that. Okay. Oh, all right, somehow I won <laughs> with 0.7 seconds left. I don't know how that happened. And actually I completely misassessed that pawn ending. I thought I was winning easy, but they actually got around and took my pawns pretty fast. So, all right, I win that game. Like I said, you can never really, uh, know what to expect when playing that player. So, <laughs> I got the victory. Hello to you, Cozy. How's it going? Okay, we're playing Zagortane. Alright, let's take this pawn and then go after the queen on d8. I think I'm a dirty cheater just really wants to beat me while hyper-berserking, so hence their motivation for uh, playing that way. <laughs> Maybe they want to prove a point or something. Okay, I'm going to play h3 just to stop bishop g4. Let's go here. Hmm, bring this up. My pawn is playing pretty solid so far. I'm going to try to use this central square, and then maybe get in bishop to e6. Or actually, I could take on c6. That's a, a good endgame. You guys know how much I like to trade, so this looks like a productive trade, if I do say so. Let's bring the king over. I was just looking at a game with a student the other day, Smyslav versus Tal. A game where Smyslav won a very nice game with knight versus bad bishop. So I'm going to try to pull my best Smyslav impression here. Let's go a4 just to shut down any play on this wing. Ooh, now I think I win this pawn. So looks like I'm going to get that guy. Let's pull this back. And then let's go h4. Just grab a little space over here. I think I can kind of press forward here with the pawn. If they take it, then we're getting in. So let's do this. And now I want to play rook g6. So let's do that. Uh, okay, so he's going to pester my f2 pawn, probably. So I guess I... Hmm. If he had gone there, I was going to pull the knight back to e3. But here I can try to get into d5. This looks like a very nice square. And after he moves the rook, we get this and around the bishop. So this is going to be a win. Okay, so we win that game. Shout out to Finn's h5. You see, my namesake is uh, in first place right now with four points. 
How's it going, Finn's H5? Name your Lee Chess after, account after me and good things happen. Okay, we're playing Red Calc. I'm gonna go for this Fianchetto and then play E6. Let's put the Bishop here. Probably bring the Knight to D7. And if the Knight comes to E5, we can swap it off. I also might go and eliminate this Light Square Bishop. That seems like a good plan, so let's do that. Go take that guy. Play C5. Probably put the Queen here. I could envision Queen C6 being good. Now if they reflexively play Knight E5, they're going to get checkmated. Okay, let's take that. Oh, and we get the mate. Yeah, they had to take with the Queen there on D4. And then uh, I think Black's better with the two Bishops, but it would have been a fight. And we've got Atrophied in the mix. If you didn't see my last Crazy House video that I posted, go check that out. Atrophied is a very good Crazy House player, and I had, I think, three games with them. Okay, let's play d4 and win a piece against Gino, Genio, Wild, Henio. Okay, let's play bishop g5. I might take here. Yeah, and then let's do this and induce a trade. Hmm. I'm going to go knight c4. Just play to control d5. Let's go check. We can go win this pawn, actually. I don't see any downside to doing that. Let's get this over here. He's going to try to attack us on this wing, but he might open his own king in the process. So let's take and then bring our king back to h1, and I think with the rook coming here, this is looking good. f2 is a bit tender, so let's defend that. A rook g6 would have been a good move too, but I think this is also very promising. Oh, that's a rook in the corner. I could have taken that on the previous move. Check. Let's bring this knight in. That move does not work. Go take that. Yeah, he's just giving pieces now. <laughs> All right. And black resigns. So perfect score, 12 points. Probably going to play at play Atrophy again. And also, where is I'm a Dirty Cheater? They got to be somewhere. Or do they withdraw? They might have withdrawn. Well, no, never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So we're going to play I'm a Dirty Cheater Pretty straight up, just like we did last game, and try not to lose on time. I think we could have done a better job on the clock at least last time. Let's pull this back and then play maybe b6 and bishop b7. Yeah, let's... Actually, let's develop the bishop out this way. They might play knight b5 and kind of play for control of some key squares. On the whole, I think this should be okay, though. Let's go here. Let's play queen over to a8. Knight takes d5 is not working for them. They might take on a5. He does. Okay, uh, let's go rook here, I guess. Go here. Maybe bishop d8 in the future. Hmm. Let's go here. Hmm. Go here. Go back like that. They're kind of weak on... Oh, I could have taken h2. So let's do that now. Hmm. I'm just going to repeat for a second. Let's see. Let's see if they want to take that. Nope. Let's go here. Let's give a check here next. Mm hmm. Okay. So now I got to hustle, clearly. All right. As long as we can pick that pawn up, we might be okay. All right. So we went on time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say about that player because clearly they're good and they can turn it on, but they seem more interested in just kind of uh, berserking and trying to flag. But they are a good player. I mean, I was getting outplayed for a good portion of that game. Okay, I heart chess. Let's go. 1887. I'm berserking this game. I don't have to do this, but I think against this player... This rating in this situation, it might not be a bad play. So let's do it. Okay, let's take over the center. I'll take here now. And if they take with the C-pawn, I think this check is a little bit annoying. Okay, let's do this and then go Queen A5 and try to stop them from castling. They might play A3, though. I'm going to go here. If B4, i got to take on D2 with check. But this could slow them down a bit. 19 seconds. Uh, let's go here. Hmm. 
Let's try to maneuver a little bit. Maybe we can get some trades going. I'll still have the file, so that's going to be nice. Let's take that, and then play this move. We're still going to have the file, even after this trade occurs. A3 could be loose. Okay, let's go F5. Just try to eliminate the back rank problem. It's going to be a tough end game to win, though. Try to close it up. I want to go rook here and win this pawn. That would be very nice, if possible. Okay, take that one. Let's see if they want to trade here. Because then I can start bringing my king over. Let's look for a swap like this. Not likely to occur. Try to go th get this pawn now. Okay, I'm going to push this up the board. Okay, let's do this. I think I'm going to get them on the clock. It's going to be really tough for them with the pawns advancing and such. They're just spending too long here. Okay, so we win that on time. A bit of a bold play, but hey, it pays off because we capitalize. Atrophied has lost two in a row. All right, we're playing Atrophied. Hello to you, Atrophied. Check out Atrophy's Crazy House videos if you haven't. I know I'm plugging him, but um, he's put out some good stuff, so I just want to support his channel. Okay, that's an interesting move. So I'm going to strike back on this side of the board and see what we can come up with. Just kind of gambiting a pawn and trying to really apply the pressure. Let's do this. Hmm. I'm going to take and then play knight e5. This looks like an interesting way of proceeding. Maybe rook c8's okay, though. We'll find out. He might go h5 and try to checkmate me. But I think this other knight's coming here. It should be all right. I'm not, like, super confident about this position, but I think it's okay. So let's play it like this. h2 is covered. I'm trying to get at b7. I want to crash through and then get at c6 thereafter and put him under pressure. Okay, so I can take here now. Then we take here. Okay, check. I can't do. Queen takes c6 would be really nifty. Ooh, is that check? Oh, that's almost checkmate. I'm going to go here. This looks like a good move. Then I'm actually setting up queen takes c6 followed by knight e5 when the rook is defended. Wow, this is a cool one. I think this works. I'm just double checking. Yeah, that's a really nifty mate. Wow, right in the middle of the board. But I had to defend the rook on b7 because otherwise he could play king takes b7. So, yeah. Uh, I think that that was okay even though we were getting attacked on the h-file. Somehow it worked out in our favor. sick -a lick -a lick lick 1970 is the next opponent. I'm going to play aggressively with bishop g4. Play queen f5. So the queen is nicely positioned here. Castle. I think with e5 coming, black doesn't have much to fear already. The scarier lines is if white plays for d4, c4 directly. Okay, so let's do this and then drop the queen back. Because bishop g4 is the threat and I want to be able to play f5 or e6. And also I want to defend c6. White is using a lot of time. Hmm. I can just kick you out if you do that, right? Okay, let's go here. And then we'll play e5 and try to drive this knight away. Yeah, let's go f5 and maybe bring the pawn up here. This looks pretty good. Bring this knight out. We're enjoying like a 30 second time advantage at this point. Let's go here, attack the queen. They want to take, otherwise h6 and g5 is coming pretty quickly. Yeah, this is now starting to become a threat. I'm going to do this just to take away the h5 square. Also, I'm hitting a2, which is quite nice. Here, seal off that square. He can go with here, though, to e1, but this is a fork now. All right, so we win that game. So we have 29 points. About 10 points clear of our nearest rival, but with fast players like this in the mix... You know, guys like Atrophied, they can make a comeback in a hurry, so we don't have time to rest on our laurels right now. So Dimgal is the next opponent. Let's go for C4 here after. Mm, let's play B4. Why not? It worked in the other game. Let's do it here. This is like a Benko Gambit in reverse. Okay, so let's take that. And then we're going to go here, look for a trade of the Dark Square Bishops. Actually, probably Queen A4 would have been even stronger there. I maybe should have preferred that one. Okay, let's go h3, just kick that bishop a bit. 
Um, okay, we'll play Rook here. Ah, uh, drop my Knight on A3. That was costly, but fortunately they did not notice. I'm going to bring this back here. I have to watch E2. That's irritating. But yeah, I purely dropped a piece right there. That was not fun. Okay, I'm going to go here. I know they can try to break through with E4, but I'm going to try to distract them at least a little bit. Let's bring the queen in. So we're making some progress on the queen side, but overall I would say my pawn sacrifice has not panned out as I would have liked it to. Let's actually try for more exchanges, just in an effort to kind of control matters here. If takes, I probably got to take with the pawn. Hmm, they're going to do this. Can I just take and now E4 is hanging at the end? Okay, let's take here first. Then we'll take here. Hmm, let's bring this back. So somehow we got out of that with an extra pawn or a gained back pawn. Now an extra pawn. Uh, hmm. Let's take this. Got to watch my time a little bit. I'm playing a little slower than my opponent. Let's do this. Let's bring this up. Attack d4. Uh, okay, I'm going to go here. And I think it should be good. But we're going to have to consolidate a little bit. I need to get my rook free and into the game. I think running with the king this way makes sense. Let's do that. Let's bring this over. Check. Mm -hmm. Let's play e3. Let's get these pawns marching. Hmm. He didn't take on d4 for some reason. Must not have seen it or something. Let's bring this back. Well, this is totally messy now. <laughs> That's survival of the, the fittest right there. Just who's going to flag who in that ending. <laughs> I hate those type of wins, but hey, you got to do what you got to do when you're under like five seconds each. So... So we're in first place with 33 points. I'm a Dirty Cheater has 23. Jonah K I see was in. All right, he's going Berserk again. Oops, nice slipped. That's not a good start to this one. Uh, let's play Let's play Bishop F4. Okay, we'll take this. We'll try to recover. Okay, I'm going to go H4. Maybe prepare a safe spot for our king somewhere. Mm, can I take that? I guess I can. Let's do it. Let's look for a, tr a swap of the queens. So a little mouse slip by me, but uh, okay. Let's let's now go. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go here and then put the king on g2. But that's not a good plan, actually. Oh boy, <laughs> this is not good. I'm getting forced back. Okay, let's go here. I want to go knight b3 and offer a trade this way. But my position is so bad. My pieces are all bunched up. This is not good. Uh, gross. What a disgusting position. <laughs> really, really gross position. What? Okay. I don't know why he did that just a moment ago. Okay, let's try to recover now with our 12 seconds remaining. Hmm. Somehow their king is, like, ranging around, and I'm even getting a piece. Oh, gosh. Move! I can't move so fast. Oh! <laughs> oh, I lost that game. Yeah, that was crazy. Mouse slip in the opening and then went down to I'm a Dirty Cheater. <laughs> Uh, I guess it was bound to happen, one of these games. Yeah, he says, he says, finally. <laughs> Good game. Good game, I'm a dirty cheater. Well, we're still leading in the tournament, but yeah, I, I should have had that one at the end. Although my position just got worse and worse. So that was not what I wanted. Okay, so let's try to recover against Sikalikalik. I'll play knight d7 and then try to go knight gf6. Hmm. Let's not get mated, though, so let's go here. They were planning a knight d6. That was their intention. Now we can at least trade and then castle. So let's go here and then knight d5. Okay. Yeah, because now we're on the queen and the pawn. If they trade, I think we're pretty happy. I think taking on e7 would be too dangerous, so they're probably just going to castle like they did. Let's go here. I want to go for c5. 
Uh, well, actually, I can't do that because they can just defend here. Okay. Uh, let's play h6. Okay, I was looking for that pawn, and they gave it to me. Let's go. Let's put the bishop here. I think the knight coming to d4 is not a bad plan, though. Let's go here and attack their rook on d1. Hmm, they didn't notice. Nice for me. Okay, let's go here. Bring this up. I'm going to try to take with the queen here and induce a trade that way. They are on this long diagonal with their bishop, so we need to address that somehow. But now we're just up a clean rook. Let's do this. Win the c5 pawn? Looks like it. Okay, back to tournament. So how are we shaping up? We're currently four points ahead, but I'm a dirty cheaters on a streak. Have they berserk like every game this tournament? Close to it. Puhovic is the next player. All right, so let's play a Scandi. Ooh, they played the knight f3 line. Let's see if they put a pawn on c4. I shouldn't have pulled the queen back to d8. That was a mistake. Don't do that in this line. It's going to turn out all right, but this is usually not the best recipe for black. Okay, let's play c5. We'll just try to play on this wing and see what happens. Um, all right, I'm going to take... Probably they'll take with a knight, like so. Hmm, take with a pawn. All right, so let's blockade a little bit. And then go b5. I'm trying to control the c4 square. They really need to put their knight on e4. That's the best possible plan here. Okay, let's go rook here. Hmm, go queen up. So I like the fact that I have this pawn blockaded. That's a nice long-term situation for me. Let's see if they want to trade here on c5. If they trade the bishop, I'll take with the rook. a3 could be kind of weak for them. Let's go knight e4. Let's repeat once. Queen in. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is a little tricky. Hmm. My position's getting somewhat broken down. All right, I'm going to go here. I don't like that move, but I didn't see what else to do. Uh, D6 is coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's my I'm losing material sound. Uh, okay, we'll go here. Yeah, we're just losing now, though. Their knight's well defended, too. I think I might just want to give this one up, but I'm going to play it out still just to see. Just to see what happens. Yeah, they can just take on d8, their rook defense. Okay, so we lose to Pohovic. Whoa, didn't mean to withdraw. Whoops. I hit the wrong button. I was trying to go back to tournament. So three minutes remaining, and we're not on a streak. This is not looking good. Hmm. Yeah, good game, Pohovic. That was a nice one by you. Okay, Henio will they... Oh, I probably should have berserked that game. But okay, we'll try to win quick, and maybe we can get two games in. Who knows? Let's put the bishop on g2. His king is coming to c7, most likely. Well, let's do this. Hmm. And go after the, the bishop. Ooh. Grab the two bishops. I like that. Let's castle here. Let's play h3 just to stop something coming to g4. Uh, maybe bishop into e7. See if we can get them to trade. Okay, let's take there. And now we can do this, and, and bishop d6 is a threat. So that should help a bit. I'm going to go g5 next move, and maybe... Or g4, rather, and start trying to encroach on their position. Uh, okay, let's go here. Maybe g5 would have still been good. But this should be good as well. Uh, let's do it now. Even though I create a bit of a weakness, there are some threats now. Like, here I can take, right? I guess they can take h3. Because they can't take here, they lose the rook on e7. But they can take h3, or that. Okay, I'll do this. If they take here, I have rook e1 pinning. So I'm keeping the pressure on, but it's not the quick win I would have liked here. Okay, now we can push h6. Take the knight. Let's give a check and then go here. Minute 30. We're still in first place, but I don't think that's going to last too long. Let's go here. Attack the rook. Bring this over. Go take that. Give a check. Bring our king up. 
Let's go A3. I'm just going to play to blockade these pawns for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to win this game. All right, back to tournament. Can we get one more game in? Ooh, we're neck and neck with I'm a Dirty Cheater. This could be the tournament, but we're not going to get another game in, and I wonder if they're playing a game right now. Looks like they're playing Atrophied at the moment. It's hard to tell. I think that's an active game. We're probably not going to get one in, though, so... Yeah, if I'm a Dirty Cheater wins that, it's game over. Jonah K, almost certainly this game will not be done in time, but we'll just play it normal. Okay, let's do this. And, okay, I'll play bishop d6. Then castle, put the queen on e7. Mm, all right, I'm going to try to trade the dark square bishops with them. See if they're up for that. Maybe a5, a4. Let's put the rook here. Finally, they release the tension. Let's bring this back. I don't want to trade the queens quite yet. Play h6. Maybe here, attack d3. And go here again. Attacking some stuff. Look for a swap. Do this. If they take, I wonder if I can take d3. I can almost get away with that. But I don't think it works. Well, that's that's not a good idea by them, though. Because now I have this in-between move. That's got to be painful. Okay, let's take this way. And then let's pull this back. So still defending this guy. This is looking very, very good. But time is out. Looks like we tied with I'm a Dirty Cheater. Let's do this. Playing for the end game. They kind of need to go for b5 like they're doing, but it really shouldn't work out for them. Hmm. Let's just go here. Blot out that bishop a little bit. Go here. Look for a trade. Okay. I think I can just do this and then play. Uh, okay, let's do this now. Bishop check coming. Highly unpleasant. Let's go here and try to check them on b5 this time. Oh, okay. And that was checkmate. All right, so we beat Jonah K, but I'm a Dirty Cheater takes it on tiebreaks. 37 points to 37 points. Yeah, they had quite a berserk rate, and we won two games against them, but that game that we lost to them, like, really, really hurt. <laughs> so, I don't know. I play my, like, my normal game, and they're just extremely fast. So, let's tell everyone GG's. And the other game I lost that was crucial was to Puhovic. They just kind of outplayed us there in uh, the complications. I think my position started to degrade right around B4. Like after this, um, I couldn't quite get a handle on the position becoming open. Maybe I should have pushed C4. That could have saved some trouble. But yeah, as played, I once they got in Queen F5, it was looking good. And I didn't know what to do here. And I ended up playing a pretty bad move, Rook C7. But I think it's a lot worse at this stage. So... And then, um, yeah, this game against I'm a Dirty Cheater was pretty funny because I slipped in the opening King F1 trying to castle. And later, they had an easy win, but they didn't go for it. That was really weird. Like, right here, I assume they played Knight E4 so they could promote with check on the next move. But then they never did it. They played Bishop C5 and then went for something else. And even then, uh, after furiously trying to simplify the position, it was not easy. And I just, like, didn't capitalize on my advantage. Although it must be said at this stage, it's it's funny that this is winning for black because my rook is trapped on h2 if they go king g3. So, yeah, some funny funny games in this tournament. And uh, a couple crucial losses right at the end. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back again soon with another one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.